Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting inside the tiny house having my coffee this morning because it's a little chilly, but it's going to warm up today. I have a lot to do because I think it's going to rain a little bit later on. But uh, first things first, I got to show you something I found that was so amazing. It blew my mind. And then I'm going to show you the stuff that uh, my parents and I planted, and then I'm going to do some more planting. So today is going to be a big day. I'm really excited. This is a very, very special, amazing mushroom, but I'm not going to talk about it today. I'll save it for the next video because I've got a lot ahead of me that i got to get done today. So let's go ahead and talk about gardening. These three garden beds are filled with soil. I've covered these up because the chickens free range and they get in there and they, you know, peck out and scratch out all the soil and I didn't want that to happen. But I really regret not filming my mom and dad helping me with this because it was a wonderful moment. My mom got in there and she she just spread everything out. It looks so perfect and wonderful. And then my mom planted all of these. They insisted on getting me already grown tomato plants. So I got different varieties than what I had before. You may think I put too many in here, but I didn't. It's a nice, big, deep garden bed. It's got some really rich soil in it. And... So the four on the corners are cherry tomatoes. And these other ones, gosh, I can't remember the name of them. They're bigger tomatoes. Um, here, maybe that's a sign. Yeah, celebrity tomatoes. I've never grown those. So, and they have already grown since we put them in the ground. They were, I don't know, almost half this size. And it's only been maybe almost a week since they've been planted and they're already doing really really well so my goal today is to I don't know plant something in both of those maybe just one of them I'm not sure if I'm gonna start the, yeah I need to start the three sisters but if you remember I was going to put them in here and I've let the chickens get in these garden beds and peck around and kinda of weed it they've done a good job with this one not so much with this one or that one um, but I left them uncovered, so, um, I don't know, I may start the three sisters in here, and here, and here, I'm just gonna have to, hmm, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Also, when my parents were here, they wanted to get me more plants, so, I don't have any rosemary coming up from last year, because, uh, remember, the puppies dug it all up, so, I've got rosemary, they didn't have any plain old basil, but they had cinnamon basil. I smelled it and I tasted it, and it's really, really wonderful. This thing has already grown, so I'm growing cinnamon basil and beautiful garden sage. Oh yes, very, very healthy plant. I have no sage left at all. And in the palette garden, I have got chocolate mint, you guys. This stuff is so wonderful, and I just put it in this one. It's going to spread all over the place, just like the lemon balm does. So I've got chocolate mint going. Oh, I love this so much. This place where they sell a bunch of weird stuff on the side of the road. There, It's a place that had that big pink like building, a little pink building, that looked like it would make a nice uh, chicken coop. But we didn't get anything there, uh, but they saw these and they decided to get them. They're just little boxes. I think, I don't know, they used to make soap in them or something. So I filled it with soil and I have planted lettuce in it. And I've got one more over here that also has lettuce in it. So hopefully that'll grow. And I am actually thinking of planting a little bit more lettuce over there in the wild garden bed. Since it's almost time to, well, it's time to decommission the wood-burning stove before I get started working on the garden beds, I am going to get this wood ash out of here and I'm going to use it to augment some of the older garden beds. In here I've got a ton of coffee grounds and i got a few eggshells, not a whole lot, but I've already added eggshells to the garden beds previously, so I'm just going to go add this all to it and hopefully it will enrich the soil. I got the rest of the weeds out and kind of fluffed it up. 
moved it around a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to add is this wood ash. And I wish I could find my little shovel, but I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. So I'll just put a little bit down there and then mix it all up. You see that down there, that little piece of green thing? This is the soil that I had gotten last year from Tractor Supply Company. It was filled with little pieces of plastic all over the place. Still to this day, I'm picking it out. So yeah, I won't be buying soil from Tractor Supply Company anymore. All right, that looks beautiful. Time to hose it down. This comes out pretty slow, and I'm glad for that because... I don't want to power blast the garden and it makes it nice for watering plants too because it's just a trickle so I'm just gonna wet this down pretty good and then I think I'm gonna start the first of the three sisters garden beds since I've never planted corn before and I don't know if you know you just plant one or two at a spot I'm planting three just to be sure that I'll get one up at each spot and I can always, you know, thin them out later. But I put these little markers out here just so I would know exactly where they each are. And I'm just going to poke them in about an inch down. Cover them up with some soil. Hi, spider. And pull the weed out. Firm it a little bit. And go on to the next. And then I gotta cover this up because if I let the chickens out to free range, they will just dig everything up and they'll eat the corn. Hell, <laughs> yeah, they will. I cobbled together some fencing. <laughs> yeah, just some bamboo, twigs, whatever I could find to stake it up. I wanna be able to, uh, you know, get in and out and take it out, put it back in as easily as possible. So I've just kind of secured it here and there with some zip ties. I didn't have enough of this chicken wire to go all the way around, so I just got some of this netting. Hopefully it will work. I don't really like this netting because beneficial skinks and lizards can get caught up in it. So I've kind of got it sort of up off the ground, so hopefully I won't have that issue. Anyhow, yeah, first garden bed done. And I think I'm going to do these two in the same way, but right now I got to go into the shade and cool off because I am sweating like a pig. I need to get a cold drink, take a break, and then get back to it. I'm working on the last garden bed, and I put a bunch of soil that was left over from this thing right here, and there's a ton of earthworms in it. Big ones. See, there's a little one. I don't know, there must be, I don't know, I, I can't even count them. There's been so many in here. Um, so that's good. This soil is going to be good and rich with all the other stuff I'm adding to it too. So that is a huge bonus. I basically had a worm bin going in this old tub. All three of these garden beds are done. And I've got corn planted in all of them. Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to get corn, <laughs> because really, to get them to pollinate properly, you need several rows, but I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If I can just grow some free poles for the beans, that's great. So, I planted the corn first, then I'm going to plant beans at each one once they start coming up, hopefully. <laughs> if they don't, I'll still plant the beans anyhow and just frying poles to let them climb up. Uh, so yeah, beans, peas, whatever, by each stick after the corn comes up. Then after they come up a little bit, I'll plant the squash. So I'm really, really hoping this works out. Yeah, this one here, <laughs> I ran out of fencing. I'm hoping that the chickens won't try and get in because they'll get stuck in that and I'll have to keep coming out and uh, freeing them. So hopefully this will just be enough who knows? I don't know. But anyhow, so, yeah, I got to still plant this planter. This is all that wild garlic stuff that I pulled up. I may go ahead and, I don't know, I may replant those. I may chop some of that up and cook it for dinner. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but there's a whole bunch of it, and I've got it growing all over the place. So I pulled it from these garden beds because I'm going to have more coming up all over. 
I think I'm done gardening for the day. I'm beat, I'm tired, and I got it all done before the rain came. I do hope that it rains today. <laughs> Bug. Um, I do, because then I won't have to water my other plants a second time. But I'm really hoping and praying that these garden beds work. I know that tomato one is going to be great because it's brand new soil. But I'm hoping I can get stuff to grow in these other ones. And I hope the three sisters thing works out. I'm just, I'm really excited. So say a prayer. Keep your fingers crossed, whatever it is you do, that Anne's Tiny Life gets a good harvest this year. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.